Alright guys, so uh, real quick, um, I don't have any aquatic stores around me that actually had a shutoff valve, or uh, I guess a, a check valve I mean, um, for my custom uh, CPVC overflow, so I made my own. Technically this is not a check valve, because a check valve on its own will allow air out, but prevents air from coming in. This is just a shutoff. So, um, I got this at Lowe's for full brass right here, never get old, um, for $4. All right. And I got this tube for 16 cents a foot and you could buy, I already had one of these. This is a, uh, goes into an aeration system for your garden or whatever. This goes into the rubber tubes and you can't pull it out. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in one end like this. Uh, it's really tight, but I don't want air, any air, so I'm going to glue it. And then this is going to go in my CPVC. Now I'm going to epoxy it in there. And um, so what you do, you suck it, open it up a little bit. So you can, you, you know, let air in and, or let, let air out. You suck it. And then when the water starts coming up here and you start getting your flow, you keep your mouth on it. And then you just close it. You just turn this and it will shut it off. And uh, the cool thing about that is you can monitor it just in case some somehow air gets in there over time. You can start seeing that water level lower. And uh, you want to make sure that that water level never gets back into the pipe because then that means air will start getting in there. Not saying that will happen, but just in case. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and I'll show you what it will look like afterwards. So real quick. This is the setup uh, attached. So this was the uh, aeration part, the black part uh, that I mentioned in the last clip. So I have it epoxied in. Epoxy is uh, one of the hardest and strongest uh, glues on the planet. So that is definitely not going anywhere. And, uh, and I uh, made sure that there was a good seal all the way around so that no air or water would come out. Let's see if I can get it focused in there. So I just drilled a hole uh, the exact same diameter, pushed it in, poured the glue in there, and then I uh, got this. This is a quarter size tubing. Um, I put it on there and I epoxied that in there. And then um, I had turned on the pump, opened up the valve, sucked the water through because According to gravity and uh, Newton's law, the water would only come up to right here because that's how high this pipe is, right here. So what this does is when you suck in, it will bring the water up here, and then when it drops down here, it will continuously siphon. Um, so because this water right here will suck the air, the the, pre, the next water up and around, so on and so forth. So um, you want to make sure that there's no air in here at all. So as you can see here, like I explained, there's water in this tube right here, coming up to right here. And uh, you'll notice that over time, if water or air does tend to get in there, there won't be any more uh, water in this tube because air is coming through. So... Works good. If you uh, want the specs of this or the item numbers um, from Lowe's, just uh, PM me or whatever. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any uh, questions or concerns, just comment below. And I'll try to get back to you. Thanks, guys.